Good morning and you join me on a beautiful sunny day at just about quarter to nine in the morning and today I'm on a delivery and I'm on my way to Bala in North Wales, a place I've never been before. I'm at Cobham Services on the M25 currently but today should be a very scenic journey. Thank you for joining me for Trade Plate Travels. My name's Chris, let me show you around the vehicle. So here we are, here's my trusty steed for today. 2020 white Mitsubishi L200. It's done 44,000 miles. Looks really smart in black and white actually with the black alloy wheels. Show you inside as normal. The black and white theme continues. Obviously you've got black leather on the inside, electric heated seats. Down there you've got your selectable four-wheel drive with low ratio as normal, six-speed manual this one, heated seat controls there, cruise control always helpful on the motorway, I'm doing a lot of motorway driving today but hopefully the latter part of the journey will be quite scenic going through Wales. It's about 242 miles I think I'm driving today and it's going to be quite a long journey back afterwards so better get on the way. Yeah, so it's about 15 minutes later now, bit of a complication. Uh, apparently we're, we're waiting for the bank to confirm that the payment has cleared. The bank hasn't confirmed this yet and obviously I can't deliver the vehicle until we've received the money for it. The customer has paid for it but it's just not being confirmed by the bank. So it's possible that I won't even be going anywhere else today at all. But anyway, whilst I'm waiting around to find out whether or not I'll be going anywhere today, what better opportunity to admire these three fine vehicles. I love seeing cars like this. We've got a superb bread van VW Polo there on a C plate. I think that's, so that's going to be an 85 or 86, I think. And then you've got a 88 or 89 F registered Fiesta Mark uh, 2, that is, isn't it? I think Fiesta Mark 2. And then this MGB on a G plate, what's that, 1960, oh, I'm testing myself here, before I was born, it's going to be 68 or 69, isn't it? Yeah, so at the moment I'm just wandering around the car park at Cobham Services waiting for Matt at TMC to call me back and let me know if the bank are willing to confirm this payment has gone through all the time the clock is ticking I'm afraid. I am at risk of missing the train I wanted to get later this afternoon. Of course if I don't go to Wales today I'm going to have to drive from here at Cobham Services straight back to TMC which is not far so I need to wait here uh, just to find out what's going on because otherwise all I'm going to do is drive further and further away for no reason. Well, it's almost 10 o'clock. I'm still here at Cobham Services. I've been here for almost an hour. Well, I've been here actually for over an hour now. And I still don't know if the money, well, we still don't know if the money is cleared. Uh, yeah, I'm still here. Well, that's a turn up for the books. The delivery is off, I'm afraid. It's almost half past 10. I was the one who called it, I'm afraid, it's just too much of a risk. I'm going to a quite a remote part of Wales. Uh, today is actually Easter Saturday, so it's the middle of a long bank holiday weekend. I, I mean, I'm so delayed now. I've been here for almost two hours at Cobham Services. It's just too much of a risk that I'm going to get very, very stuck in Wales when I get there. And then the next day is Easter Sunday, so getting home, to be honest, would just be an absolute nightmare. So yeah, I'm heading back to TMC in a moment, but since I'm still at Cobham Services, I thought I might as well go and get a cup of tea or something like that. So yeah, short and sweet I'm afraid today, so 
There you go, I told you that I was off to Bala in Wales, which actually would have been an absolutely spectacular journey through Snowdonia to get there, I think, or part of Snowdonia, maybe the edge of Snowdonia. But it would have been good, so I'm a little bit gutted not to be able to do that today and show it to you on film. Instead, I've brought you to the amazing surroundings of Cobham Services. So yeah, you're welcome. So there's the truck parked over there. There's Cobham Services. Snowdonia, eat your heart out. I mean, look at this. To be fair, Cobham Services is probably one of the better services. It's got a good selection of places to eat and drink and it's quite modern. It's only about 10 years old or so. The first time that I've ever had to abort a mission at this stage. But there's obviously some kind of an issue with the bank. They, the payment should have cleared and it hasn't. For now, I will sign off. Okay, well, I'm sorry that today's trip has not been as scenic as I intended. I suppose it does give you a small window into what it's sometimes like driving vehicles across the country. Not everything goes according to plan all the time. And it certainly would have been a lot worse to go all the way to Wales now and then get stuck there. I am actually quite relieved, considering what time it is now, that I no longer have to do this journey. Okay, well, 10.48 now. Just leaving Cobham services, I should probably have been somewhere around, well, maybe around Birmingham by now to be honest. But it's just a short journey now back to TMC down the A3. I'll tell you what, this is a bit of a shame as well. As you might have noticed this morning, I joined the M25 via Dorking. I went one junction further back than this and a key reason for doing that was to avoid the absolute chaos that has been caused by the roadworks at the A3 junction. And it was nice and clear when I came along here earlier this morning. Traffic's really built up now, Easter Saturday. Well, do you know what? This actually isn't too bad. And it's a beautiful day. And I suppose I'm gonna get home earlier than I thought, so. So, you know, maybe things are pretty good, really. Well, I seem to be just making it up as I go along today. So I was expecting to head to Bentley Station and get a train back home. As it turns out, I don't even need to get a train at all because I have another delivery on Tuesday, which is the next time I'd be back into TMC. So since I'm here, I am taking that delivery home with me now, where it will stay until Tuesday morning, and then I'll set straight off from home. And here is what I'm delivering on Tuesday. It is a Renault traffic on a 69 plate, late 2019, early 2020 Renault traffic. This one has only done 18,000 miles. And the funny thing about this is that I collected this van from Lowestoft and I'm delivering it to Ipswich. So it's going back to pretty much where we bought it from and inside the cabin. Haven't fitted my tray plates yet. So six speed manual gearbox. Yeah, it's a very nice van this. I mean, you know, a low mileage white van. You're always going to find a buyer for one of those. I wasn't really going to record uh, my Tuesday delivery because I didn't think man drives white van to Ipswich is particularly interesting content. Just filled up with fuel on my way home. I thought I might make things a little bit more interesting by hiding an Easter egg in my video. 
Well, that's it for the day. I'm back home. It's a beautiful day. It's uh, quite nice actually to be back home in bright sunlight. So we didn't get to see Barla today or Snowdonia, unfortunately, but I did get to show you Cobham services and the inside of a white van. So yeah, uh, welcome to Trade Plate Travels. Thank you very much for sticking with me and hopefully see you on another trip soon where we might actually go somewhere. You never know. In the meantime, please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video anyway, and I hope to see you again soon.